Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to play as the Ironclad and I'm going to go for a heart kill. I'm going to try for one anyway. Um, shall I go on Ascension 1 or just we'll just go on the basic one? I usually try go on Ascension 1 if I'm warming up so that I can kill some elites <laughs> on the way up. I'm just going to try the base difficulty. Alright, I've got a few options here. Lose all gold, choose a rare colourless card to obtain. Common Relic or Random Rare Card. I think we'll uh, go for the Rare Colourless Card. For 99 gold, that's a pretty good trade-off. Uh, the Bomb is actually not that great in Act 1. Transmutation. Add X Random Colourless Cards to your hand. They cost zero this turn. Shuffle three random skills into your draw pile. None of these are good for Act 1. Uh, let's... Go for the bomb, and we might not be using it immediately. Okay. So we've got a slime boss. Uh, in the centre and the left we've got some upgrades. It's pretty much identical actually, through, through those two tracks. So I think we'll go this side, and then we'll decide what to do after the first couple of fights. And we go defensive on this first turn. Uh, let's do the bomb and block. We can take up to six damage here, so we're all good. Block again. Uh, and there we go, we finish this fight at full health. Cool. A healthy first battle. Now, we always want to be bearing in mind we've got the bomb, so I'm going to go for a defensive deck. Um, and because I won't have energy until Act 2, the uppercut, although it's got the weak on it, which makes my blocking good, um, that's they're going to fight with each other, so let's go for Shrug It Off. We'll try and get that upgraded. Alright. We won't need the bomb for this one. This is going to leave me at 79 energy, this fight. Cool. Okay, Intimidate is good because it's free and uh, it brings down that attack. Now, I've only got 27 money, so I think I'm going to go this left-hand route. Hope for some good stuff in the treasure rooms, uh, in the question mark rooms. Fight this elite on the left here. Um, and then we'll see what sort of state we're in when we get to that final elite. It might not be on Act 1 that we fight it. Uh, I'm going to upgrade a card, and I'm going to upgrade the bomb. Oh, no, I don't need to yet. I'm going to upgrade Shrug It Off. Here we go. Uh, 175 gold. Now, because I'm kind of relying on the bomb, um, going weak doesn't really matter, so we'll take that. We'll just try and get it removed if we can. Bomb. I'll save that Intimidate, because... He's not attacking this yet. Now, all I need to do is get him down to 40 health, which I can do. That's now done. I can just play defensively now. There we go. Oink. Fire potion. Now, what we've got here. Let's take ghostly armor, and that'll feed into our play with the bomb. Um, should we get up Ghostly Armor upgraded? It's already pretty powerful for Act 1 at 10 block, so might go ahead and do Intimidate. So then I can play it on a turn before I know there's a powerful attack coming up. Let's do that. Now, let's hope we don't get the Gremlin. Alright, this is great. The bomb will kill these. So let's block there. Uh, might as well just play that. It's not going to do anything. Top work. I had somebody on the YouTube channel today ask about Balatro. Um, am I going to be playing it? I really like it. I play it privately. Um, if you're watching this and you saw the Balatro video and you want to see more, uh, let me know in the comments. I do like it. Uh, I don't know how good I can do the job of 
of kind of commentating it because I don't know it that well. But I've not actually beaten the final boss yet. Hey, there we go. Killed the sentries. Now we're looking good with money. We're at 251. Uh, Nunchaku, 10 attacks. I couldn't remember if it was 10 cards or 10 attacks. Uh, this isn't going to come in hugely handy, but what can you do? A couple of fire potions ready, and I think we'll go ahead and take blood for blood. Just because it's nice to have a powerful attack card. Let's look at my upgrades. When have I got my next upgrade available? Pretty soon. I think this is going to be the one where I upgrade the bomb. And then we'll look at taking the red, the sapphire key on the next one. 23 gold. Oh, preserved insect. Elites in enemy, uh, enemies in elite combat have 25% less HP. I'm going to save picking up the sapphire key for when I get a crap relic. All right. I can, I'm just going to spend both these potions. Bye. Slavers really annoy me. Uh, okay, seeing red could be good, actually. Once it's upgraded, it's pretty useful. Uh, let's take the ruby key here. Keep calling it the sapphire key, even though it's red. <laughs> okay. Play the bomb. Block. Do intimidate here. Now, if he knows I've got the bomb, he should just run off now, to be honest. Right, I'm just going to kill him now. <laughs> Why not? Duplication potion, very good. And then, right, I'm not playing a strength build, and on my last run, if you watched it, you'll know that I destroyed my uh, chances by using Limit Break. Now, Metallicize could be good here. Uh, a nice defensive build. Or Battle Trance, um, so I can make sure that I get the cards I want out. I'm not really, really relying on draws apart from uh, Shrug It Off. To be honest, that's just the high block I'm relying on, not the draw. So I think I'm actually going to go for Metallicize here. Anything to just increase that block while I'm waiting for the bomb to go off. Let's remove the Doubt card anyway, just because being weak is annoying. Um, and it's one of those status effects I often forget about as well. Uh, let's take the lantern so that if the bomb comes out first turn, we can we can definitely play it. Cool. And then, what do I want? Might take another ghostly armor. Yep. Yeah. Right. Now, I think this is going to be the time that we fight the elite. We've either got the Lagavulin or the Gremlin. If we've got the Gremlin, we're in a little bit of trouble. If we've got the Lagavulin, we're not. Yeah, nice. And it's weak, so two bombs. And it's uh, in trouble. And I'll use the Duplication Potion to get the, both the bombs going at the same time. There we go. We've now beaten. <laughs> we've now beaten it. Don't even know what I don't even need to play any of these cards, but okay. Right now it's gonna wake up. There is actually a name for people who have the phobia of things with these like holes in them. I don't know the name of it, but um Yeah, it's a sad phobia to have. Unfortunate. There he goes, he's dead. Ha ha ha. White beast statue. Okay, that's good. Uh potion after every fight. Emerald key. And I don't think I want any of these cards. I don't really like Combust. Unless I've got the... Um, what's it called? The Rod? The Adamantium Rod or, or something. Um, the one that reduces one dam every damage down by one. This card is just really annoying. And hard to quantify. I'm not, not playing an attack deck, so we're going to skip all of those. Pick up the upgrade here. Uh, let's go with upgrading and Blood for Blood. Because just having that damage card there on top of the bombs is great. Okay, pretty crappy start. Ah, <laughs> uh, now I I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to use shrug it off. 
I was kind of operating too quickly there, so I'm going to slow down a bit. Okay. Let's use Seeing Red. Let's use Intimidate. Let's defend Bomb Strike. Right, I'm going to take a heavy hit here. 18. Should be right. Because I'm not so much relying on the attacks. I'm not too fussed about the damage because I'm going to be using a lot of block when I get the opportunity. Cool, so first bomb's going to go off. Boink. Very nice. Just got to survive a couple of rounds. There we go, we've, uh, we've done it. Nice, nice easy fight. Now, at this stage with the bomb strategy, it's very easy to get carried away. However, if I end up with the automaton at the end of Act 2, and it's got the orbs that will take away my good cards, that's something to watch out for. Demon form is not really conducive with this build. Uh, conducive to this build, sorry. Fiend fire kind of is, actually. Get rid of some crappy cards. But I think I'm going to go for Juggernaut and upgrade it so that while I'm waiting patiently, using my block, waiting for Bomb to come online, um, I'll be putting out little bits of damage. Obviously not going to take Sozu because um, I'm relying on the potions coming out. I think I'll go for Tiny House. Ectoplasm's okay and the extra energy's okay, but honestly, I don't want to have no gold. <laughs> so let's take Tiny House, which is something I rarely pick up. So we've upgraded a, def a defend, got a potion there, and then I think let's take True Grit, try and get it upgraded. And now we've got, a, I think we've got a very defensive build, so it's pretty much all block apart from the bomb and Blood for Blood. So, yeah. Right, so as predicted, there's the automaton. So I need to really think about that. The two cards it's like likely to take are metallicize and the bomb or the bomb and blood for blood <clears throat> so maybe on the run up here i need to ditch some weak cards and pick up something else just so i've got like three or four cards in the arsenal um, the only key we need to pick up is from a treasure chest so hopefully we'll just get a rubbish treasure chest fairly soon let's use this because I'm going to get a potion after this fight, so I need to make sure I have a slot free every single time. Drag it off. Right. Cool. Let's do a strike. It's going to take me a while to get another bomb online, so I'm just relying really on the the damage output from the block. I should have him now. There we go. I always forget the name of that enemy. Um, I just think of him as Suffer. Okay, now Headbutt with Bomb could be the ticket. I think Headbutt upgraded, but also like playing along with yeah playing along with the block cards putting them back in the top of the deck thinking about potentially getting to the heart and the elites before the heart the sword and shield uh, spear and shield even yeah all right let's do a juggernaut let's play defensively uh let's put some spikes on in fact let's make this quick put all the spikes on <laughs> that was very satisfying. Blood potion, yep, thank you. And then, now it's very tempting to take in flame, just to have that little bit of strength. But honestly, I'm not attacking much. And the only attack card I'm really relying on is blood for blood. So I'm not going to take it. And I'm not going to take another blood for blood either. Oh, although I did say I would try and get something for the automaton. I am going to take it. Now we need to look at ditching some stuff because I'm on 22 cards and that's more than I want. Now I could uh, I could remove a strike here 
or I could go ahead and upgrade everything, which is just too good an opportunity to pass up. Now, the pain card, when would I be able to get rid of it if I took it? Not for a while, but then I don't actually have a lot of fights. I've got one, two, potentially four fights on the way up there, no elite fights. Uh, a lot of stuff's already upgraded, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it. So every time I draw a hand, something that isn't upgraded will become upgraded. I'll try and remove that curse as quickly as possible. Use that uh, speed potion, just get a bunch of block. Cool. one let's uh, let's deal the nine damage there okay very good the, the bomb didn't even come out but uh, let's pop blood for blood back there wow we don't have metallicize out and we didn't have the bomb out uh, but let's just Kill the snake plant. All right, so we're on 84 out of 85 energy. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, now, because I don't have an energy relic, I'm still not going to take these two, these two energy power, um, two energy attack cards. Uh, twin strike. Don't have any strength, so I'm not too worried about that. And there isn't really a lot of stuff I'm exhausting. The only this would only come into play when I'm using true grit. So I'm not going to take this either. I'm going to skip all of those, and we're going to go up here and let's uh let's upgrade juggernaut just to remove that sort of random chance that it won't get upgraded when it gets drawn Talisize. what a terrible opening hand however we're going to play artifact negate the confusion that's coming off of the sneko very nice ah now my choice here is play bomb or play juggernaut these two things are kind of pulling in opposite directions I think I'm going to go ahead and play bomb. Right. Let's weaken. Let's headbutt and we'll pop. Uh, oh, put blood for blood there. That's good. And we will. Let's. I know that this is the high one, but the next one coming out is going to be able to be played for free. And so is this because of the pain card. Oh, I didn't even think of that. That's cool. So next round, this guy's dead. Awesome. Haha. <laughs> Sometimes you kind of forget you've got the bomb active. Um, now, Body Slam I would take if I didn't have the blood for bloods because I don't have barricade uh, to make sure I keep all my block um, no because then I have to spend an upgrade on it as well I'm gonna leave that I'm gonna go this way I'm gonna take an upgrade here uh, let's get blood for blood upgraded by the time I get to the heart I might not even need the, the pain relic 27 gold. I don't really need the bag of preparation, so let's use this opportunity to get the sapphire key. Now, if we make it past the Act 3 boss, we've got a chance of fighting the heart. But maybe not beating the heart, who knows, but let's intimidate here. It's called, is it called the Chosen? Yeah. Suffer guy. Right. Okay. See, now I'm thinking bomb, but this cultist could get pretty powerful before the bomb comes online, so... Just need to be aware of that. Pop it back there. Hmm. Right, I'm going to take 19 damage here, regardless of what I do. Let's run the bomb again. Let's see what we get here. Oh, there's no... There's no flipping block card, 
So let's play Burning Pact. We all draw, and here we go, Ghostly Armor. Very nice. Okay. I really don't want to be getting down to half health with this. Right, bomb's about to go off and kill the cultist. And then end of next round, the Chosen goes down as well. There we go. All right, so 164 out of 85. That's still okay. It's not quite what I want. But I'll uh, I'll do what I can to bring that up. I'm not going to take any of these cards. Armaments is okay, but I've got so many upgraded cards plus the upgrade relic that I'm, I'm happy, really. Ooh, 50% chance to become cursed. And we survived. Hooray. Right. And I want this upgrade, but I really want to get rid of the pain card. Although the pain card is pretty useful for blood for blood. To bring that online pretty quickly. Am I tempting fate by... I don't need the upgrades from the campfire because I've got the relic. So let's just get in there. Get rid of that flipping curse. Because I know I'll regret keeping it. I know I will. Especially if I make it all the way to the heart. Right, pen nib. Every tenth attack you play deals double damage. That's okay, but it will be slow to come online because I'm relying on block so much. Uh, happy flower. Every three turns gain energy. That's good. And uh, abacus. Whenever you shuffle your draw pile, gain six block. Both of these are very good for me, <laughs> especially with having the bomb as a factor. I think this is the one that will stay powerful. This is the one that will lose power over time. So let's go with the happy flower. All right. Bag of marvels, not a, not a huge deal for, for the build I've got going, but still sometimes very cool. Uh, yeah, all right. Be mindful of that strength potion because I, I don't I, I want to look out for a good opportunity to actually use it. Don't exactly know when that's going to be. I think I think actually now would be a good time to use it. So let's some, do something I rarely do and kill the mystic first. Uh, I'm going to use Intimidate, because his next round he's doing an attack. And then let's get... Let's get Ghostly Armor on top of the deck. Oh, I'm going to lose... Oh no, I'm not going to lose Ghostly Armor. Here we go. Steam Red. Ghostly Armor. Bomb. Ghostly Armor. Cool. So I think we're actually going to kill him before the bomb goes off. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's all right. Ancient Potion, very nice. Uh, heavy Blade, we're not playing Strength. Intimidate, we don't really need. I'm not really using the one I've got, to be honest. And Cleave, no. So we'll leave those. All right. Okay, let's put some block out. Can I kill this in one? So we're going to take two damage if I... I play that, that's fine. Let's play bomb, true grit. Now oh, I have got that blood potion, so I can heal. Alright, can do juggernaut, basically armor, with power size. Alright. So now we're really just kind of sitting pretty and treading water while um, we wait for the bomb to go off. There we go. Blood for blood will finish it off. Very nice. Okay. Gambler's Brew. Um, this is tempting. Infernal Blade had a random attack into your hand. It costs zero. But I have got 22 cards, so I'm going to not take it. And I'm going to focus on trying to get rid of things. We're going to upgrade here because I've got the blood potion. Um, what shall I upgrade? I actually think that I actually think seeing red is the one to upgrade here. 
because when that comes through it's always really useful and that one extra piece of energy is going to be good okay automaton this is the one i'm slightly worried about okay so i don't need to use seeing red just now um let's hang on let's hang on to intimidate as well in fact, this is the time to use Gambler's Brew. Let's get rid of all of these. Get some good setup going. No setup. Fantastic. <laughs> all right, let's get rid of one of his artifacts anyway. Ah, I could have attacked with that strike card then. Whoopsie. Okay. Let's block and block and block again. All right, so they've taken Juggernaut. That is interesting. Put down the bomb. I'm going to use ghostly armor even though I don't need it because I I don't want it to fade away. Now we're really just treading water waiting for the bomb to go off to kill those orbs but I do need to put a bit of damage on them. Each. One each. So that when it does go off it, it actually kills them. So we're going to take 20 damage here. I think I'm going to drink the potion now. There we go. Oh, not quite 20, sorry. 16. Okay, let's block. Uh, bomb's going to take care of the orbs, so we'll... Headbutt, and what shall we call back? I'm going to actually call back Seeing Red. I want to be able to execute multiple bombs in a row. Okay, no bombs, that's fine. Let's block here. Oh, I should have jog. I should have, blah, should have done, done juggernaut first, but didn't quite notice what was going on. Uh, and let's uh, just attack here. So we're going to take what thirty something, twenty, twenty-eight. All right. So we're down to half, just under half health. Uh, let's uh, block here. Block here. Get rid of the strike. Bash and blood for blood. A shame I didn't get to execute that bomb last time. Oh, that's kind of why I forgot it was doing the heavy attack because I was focusing on the bomb coming out. And that's kind of the trap you can fall into with that card. Uh, 26 damage. I think, I think we got him. Here we go. Nice. I took more damage than I would have cared to there. Ah, Offering's a good card to have here. It exhausts so it's out of the deck and it just it gives me that little sort of Nova boost of energy that I can use to set something up. I may not always use it. Whenever you lose HP, draw one card. Hmm. This can be a problem when you've got ghostly armor because they can get drawn out at the wrong time and then just disappear because you don't have a chance to play them. Excuse me, my downside here though is if I take Mark of Pain, those two wounds can really become a problem. But I can counter those with True Grit. I'm gonna go with Mark of Pain and hope I don't regret it. I've now got plenty of energy sources. I've got Seeing Red, I've got Offering, and I've got the Happy Flower, the Lantern, and Mark of Pain. So it should be all good. All right, so we've got the Awakened One. Uh, I forgot my controls then. I've got the Awakened One. Um, look at my cards got two power cards so the awakening one powering up from the power cards is not really going to be a problem i'll just play those uh i kind of want to get in the shop and take out like a strike or something so let's go this middle path and kind of see where it see where it leads us all right bomb's going to kill these i just need to stay alive I am actually going to play Offering here because I want to 
block that seven. The difference in damage is only is only one there. But... I need to negate the block on both of those. Cool. I think we've killed. I think we've killed them. I just smacked my microphone. Sorry if you heard that. Speed potion. Right, we're full on potions now, so I need to use one in the next fight. Warcry can be good for controlling the deck, but I'm going to draw two cards, put a card from the top. Yeah, do you know, I am going to take it. I am going to take it because it might turn the tide. Right. Ah, perfect. Let's lose strike. Very good. And then I've got 177 money. What's my upgrade looking like? Yeah, let's go here and let's take out another one. Huh. Got any curses? No. Is that strike? Uh, 52 left. Uh, there's nothing here that I want. Let's do this fight. Now, Siamath, 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 you, res you refer to these as the orbs, and I kind of see what you mean now. I've always just thought of them as the exploders, even though actually only the middle one is the exploder. I think it's because it's the one you have to get dealt with the quickest, which is exactly what we're going to do right there. Uh, let's get the headbutt on you, send that back. Didn't use Warcry there. Okay. Now, if I get Juggernaut out, I don't have to attack this this creature at all. The Spiker. And that's exactly what I plan not to do. I'm also not going to use Offering because oh no, I can because uh, I'll get the I'll get the stuff back. There we go, Juggernaut. Nice. Oh look, no block. How interesting. And no block there as well, what the heck? Uh, in that case, I will just do nothing. There we go, the bomb got it. Right, another speed potion, so I won't take that. I didn't need to use those potions anyway, so no problem. I'm not going to take any of these. Hmm. Judging from the chaotic terrain around you, a bony sphere surrounds a mysterious glowing object within. While you are curious what lies inside, you notice some sentries keeping an eye on it. Now I have an issue here, in that my build takes a long time to come online with the bombs, and these things can get pretty powerful pretty quickly. I feel like I don't need the relic, so I'm actually going to leave. I'm not going to... not going to fight them breaks my heart, but it's the way it has to be. Let's get an upgrade here. We'll upgrade Metallicize. I really want to upgrade True Grit, I just keep overlooking it. Not like I forget, I'm just like, oh. Right, let's take 10 damage here and we'll observe what colourless cards we can get. So, I think Panacea it's just it's impossible to ignore, even though I did want the block. Aha, Finesse, fantastic. And Panache. Every time you play five cards in a single turn, deal 10 damage to all enemies. Or do I want to play blind? Apply two weak. Let's go with Panache. Because that can really, over the course of a long fight, that can really put out a lot of damage. Right, now we've got a 25 strong deck, so let's just play these colourless cards like they're going out of fashion. He's about to put the hurt on me. Oh no, no, it doesn't matter, I've already got artefacts, so that's fine. Right, let's uh, 
let's intimidate, and then let's use Warcry to bring something good out. We'll put Blood for Blood away at the m for the moment, because I'm playing a f defensively, so we'll do Offering, which will bring it back out. Let's do Finesse here. Yeah, I've got nothing blockwise going on. Should have used that Speed Potion. Okay, well, let's just go all out and attack him. We just have to deal with the... What is it? 14 damage. Out. So I'm down to about half, which I don't like. Let's go Juggernaut and Bomb. And I've got my eye on that Speed Potion. Uh, 22, 16, and now I don't need it. Ha, hilarious. Right. Let's block. Let's play for Nash because it's free. Uh, block again. That one. Block again. And attack. Okay. We are fine. Didn't even need the bomb there. Right, we're going to ditch, I think we're going to ditch um, the weak potion. Take the power potion. kind of wish I'd used it, really, but there you go. Uh, Burning Pact could come in very useful at this stage, just to get rid of some of those weaker cards and pull out the strong cards that I actually want to use. Uh, let's have a look here. Auric Alchem, if you end your turn without block, gain six blocks. That is becoming a problem. So, yeah. We have misjudged how many power cards. Right, let's play Panache. Let's play the bomb. Let's play Panacea. Uh, I think I might just play this power potion here. Let's do a bit of fire breathing. And we're also going to intimidate. So I don't know what these enemies are going to do. The repulsor won't attack, but the spiker might. Spirit Garden's going to hit for 10. Uh, let's play Offering and see what happens. Wow, okay, this is good. This is very good. Got a lot of energy too, so that's helpful and handy. Come on, I want Juggernaut out. Oh man, <laughs> that's so, that's upsetting. All right, let's uh, use Strike to get you. And let's use Blood for Blood and another Strike on you. Well, that Panache got fired twice then, so I played 10 cards. Cool. Perfect timing. Another Ancient Potion, that's absolutely solid. Uh, I'm not going to take these attack cards, we're going to leave those. Now, do I want another upgrade, or do I want to pop in the shop and get rid of a strike? Because I've got 25 cards in this deck. I think... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. Jump in there. Oh, I can't afford it. Oh, what a pain. Oh, that's annoying. What a idiot. This could be a blessing in disguise, though, because here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of the speed potion, and we're going to buy fairy in a bottle. Because you just never know when that's going to save your life. Right, that's Panacea. Oh, I want all of these guys under under 50 with their 12 block. Destroy the strike card. Uh, let's shrug it off. Come on, Dragonaut. Right, let's do scene red. Let's get the bomb on the go. Thirty-six damage coming in, and I've got twenty-three blocks. So I'm going to play True Grit, and I'm actually going to get rid of one of the Blood for Bloods. There we go. Only going to take four damage now. 
still puts me down to 50, which is lower than I'd like to be. I feel like that that's lower than I'd like to be is kind of the, the call sign of this run, really. Just because, just because, like, what's happening with your hit points here is what will be happening with your hit points with the heart as well. So. Cool. I'm not going to play Offering because uh, the bomb's about to fire. Ooh, I thought that first one was going to die, actually. So let's just kill him. Right. Uh, Blessing of the Forge is good, but I don't need it. Uh, double tap, Iron Wave, Sword Green Ring. No, none of those. They're not powerful enough. Now, do I want to fight either the Reptomancer or the flipping... What's he called? I can't remember his name, the Nemesis here. Or do I want to just fight potentially like the Transient? I think... Oh, I think I don't. I think I don't want to fight the Nemesis for some reason. Nice early take on uh, Juggernaut there, very happy with that. Get Intimidate on him. Now. In 12. Let's shrug it off there. I'm going to take three damage if I don't do something, whereas this is going to be six. Let's just take the three damage. Oh no, oh yeah, of course I forgot that my block does damage, right, yeah, yeah, okay. Cool. I have killed the transient before. I did it once on a, a game on my phone that has no achievements or any way of recording it. And I was devastated that I didn't have it documented. Uh, what's the play here? I think short-term gains, so... This one does the most damage. I don't know why I kept attacking there. Sometimes you just do. Sometimes you just keep going. Right. Objective, survive. Right, what gets me the most here? If I do true grip, which is 9 plus 7 damage, 16 plus 9, 25, whereas that does 22. Okay, so that's actually the better play. Cool. Oh, the bomb went off anyway. <laughs> nice. Okay. Speed potion. No, I'm not going to take that. Uh, Warcry is coming in pretty handy, actually. I think I, I think I might take it. I don't know. I've already got one. No, I'm not going to leave it. Aha. We've got the perfect build to deal with this pesky monster. Cool. Let's just bomb and block, bomb and block. Just need to get Juggernaut out. I'm gonna I'm gonna use offering here because I want some block. this true grit isn't upgraded but what can you do right that's 15 and we'll just leave that at that just take this one very slowly no nasty surprises there we go you notice i'm not attacking it's because i don't want it to adjust its attack to one of the stupid power attacks that it does just keep playing defensively and in a minute, the bomb's going to kill it. Even if I don't 
get the heart kill. I feel like uh, this is a pretty good, if a bit haphazard build, to get us there. Sometimes with the heart, you just you just end up drawing bad stuff because it gives you a load of status effect cards and there's not much you can do with it. Uh, I don't want the strength potion. Uh, true grit, yes, I do want. Definitely. And then let's then let's get our other true grit upgraded. It's been it's been left till the very end. Now one thing I may not do is play Panache. Let's just let's just kill these cultists. I don't really care about, about waiting for the bomb. Because their damage output can get very silly very quickly. True Grit, Burn Strike. Yeah, so I'm about to, about to get hit pretty badly here, actually. Ouch. Okay, we are getting, this is a very, this is very unlucky. Extremely unlucky. Got loads of energy, nothing to spend it on. Oh my gosh. Can you believe it? Right, need Juggernaut. Finesse. If I play Offering, I might die. Get mad just how badly that can go so quickly. Right, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Dear God. Right, I'm not going to play Panache just yet. I'm going to wait until the next one. It's war cry. Uh, I'm actually going to put headbutt back at the top there. And then we're going to true gear it, burn the strike. Back. 16. Let's see, I only have three health. <laughs> Flipping heck. Get the bomb back in play. Uh, I'm scared to play Panache, just in case, just in case, just in case that extra one bit of health is the thing that tips it over the edge. You know. Sixteen, thirty-two. Okay. Ooh, lucky I bought that fairy in a bottle, eh? <laughs> cool. I've got a lot of bombs queued up now, so we should be safe. Phew, eh? Right, still got to get through the second... Second round, we've got Dark Echo to deal with here. Ouch. I really wish I kind of hadn't taken both blood for bloods. To, to, to counter the automaton, although it did save my butt there. And we're dead. <laughs> How unfortunate. You are slain. That was a pretty unlucky set of opening hands. I think... Why did I go wrong? I think maybe where I went wrong, let's have a look at the stats, was... Um, oh, whoops, run history. 
think where I went wrong was taking Mark of Pain. Because those wounds really got in the way. Those wounds that could have been block cards. Uh, and maybe getting greedy with the coloured uh, coloured, sorry, colourless cards as well. Um, there you go. Sometimes when you're aiming for the heart, you're thinking about the heart fight and you don't really set yourself up well for the ones on the way up there. Um, you could say that was a little bit heartbreaking. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for watching, even though it was uh, a tragic defeat. Um, hopefully it'll be better on the next one. Uh, let me know in the comments, if you're watching on YouTube, which character you'd like to see next and I'll do a run with that one. Anyway, take care. Bye for now.